Hi friends, uh, this is Ms. Cooper with a tutorial on how to use Photoshop Mix to make composite, composite images. But what I'm going to start you with is just a quick practice where you are going to make something like this. And I know this is kind of scary looking, um, but this is kind of an easy way to practice uh, moving things around in Photoshop Mix and playing with the color from just a really, really basic standpoint. So this is my Fruit Man assignment that I do with students in my classes. Um, and I already have another tutorial for this on the desktop version of Photoshop on YouTube. So I'm using Photoshop Mix. It's the one with the two circles icon. You'll see it in the top left corner. This is the best one I find. You can use the full out Photoshop app, but for what we're doing here, you may as well use this really basic one. So I'm going to go off to the left and hit the plus button and grab an image. In my image gallery, I already have something set up that has a bunch of pieces of fruit um, on it. So I'm going to click away from that and I'm going to move it off to the side. So if you need to screenshot it, now is a great time. So I'll just kind of pause while you do that if you would like to. Once you have a screenshot, you can work with this on your own too. I'm totally cool with that. Um, what you want to do to be able to make these cutouts for other layers is you could just make a cutout from this layer. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. You could make this cutout, and I did a really bad job because we're not going to keep this. And you can just hit the check mark. But now you've get, gotten rid of everything else that you need to put this whole thing together. So if that's fine with you, then awesome. That's great. But I'm going to go back and get my whole image back. And then what you do if you need to duplicate something, especially if it's like your own face and you're like adding eyes or hands or like a another head to your body or something, just an example of what you might do or what, you know, sometimes teachers have people do for school. Um, you would just hit the plus, add image, but you would just add the same image. So I'm adding the same image here too. Then when you have your same image, that's when you want to do the cutout. So it's already on add. You can see that off to the left. And I'm going to use a stylus because I find that a little bit easier. But really, this app is so good that you, you don't always need to use a stylus. So I'm going to go back and get this little part. Zooming in and out helps it to be a little more careful with what it selects. It's pretty smart, but zooming in definitely helps the app. And why wouldn't you help the app, you know? That'll make your life easier. I'm going to hit the subtract button because I don't really we need this whole shadow if it takes away too much you can always add back on like that was maybe a little too much so i might just add it back on um you can zoom in even more and take off a little bit less whoa until we get to that chunk okay i don't want to be too picky because i am viewing a tutorial um so i'll kind of zoom back out here maybe i'll just get rid of that shadow right there yeah that works for me okay I don't want the leaf though because I'm going to put hair on this anyway. I mean, it's it's hair made of pineapple, but still, um, I'm going to drop the apple here. I'm I'm good with that, where it is, and then I'm going to hit plus because I'm going to use that pineapple. So here I am back in my photos. Going to grab that again, um, zoom in, cut out. But I'm just going to take the green part with me. And this is where you're really probably going to get used to using that subtract part of this tool because um, it really wants to select the white background for this one. I gave this tutorial a go earlier, but my microphone wasn't on, so I'm re-recording it. So I already kind of figured out what uh, is difficult about this one and what's a little maybe not so difficult. So I'll pull out a little, little more of this. Um, I'm actually gonna keep a little bit of that yellow at the bottom. I think it'll blend it into the red a little bit more. Not that we're super concerned with blending on this project. Um, it is our first one. At least if you're in my class, this is our first Photoshop assignment. So I don't wanna be too picky. Um, we're also doing this from home. The, re the main reason that I'm uploading this video is because 
Um, we're all we're doing e-learning for a week while we are um, kind of quarantined at home because of COVID-19. So um, I'm not there to help people if they're possibly first time using Photoshop. So I'm trying to do my best from home here. I feel pretty good about that cutout. So I'm going to click and drag this and make it a little bit bigger. Wow, love it. I love his hair. It looks awesome. Um, there's a couple modes where you can blend and stuff too, if you wanted to. Um, I'm not really going to get into that yet, but sometimes people are like, well, why didn't you, you know, blend the bottom of the pineapple in just a little bit more? Well, I'm not really, I'm not there yet. And this app isn't always for like perfect blending. Sometimes you have to select a little bit perfectly to uh, get the look you're going for. Anyway, I don't want to go off on too many tangents. I'm going to pull up this image again. I think he gets some blueberry eyes. I think that would be nice. The blueberries are ridiculously easy to cut out too, which is nice. Boom, done. Um, so now, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So I'm going to take that blueberry and move it over here. And I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'd love for him to have these like really giant blueberry eyes. Um, sure, we'll make it really big. Um, the one I did earlier had tiny eyes. Um, I kind of like the idea of these. Oh, wait, I need to add my layer. Otherwise, I'm going to cut out the current layer, and I don't want to do that. Okay, let's bring this up. Let's grab this blueberry. Cut that out. Move it over. Nice. I'm going to, should I put his eyes together? Maybe, you know what? But they're off center, so that kind of bothers me. So what I'm going to do is I can back down a layer to select my old layers. So if there was something I wanted to change... I just kind of take it down in a, a layer and then I can kind of move around and still edit my old layers if I want to. All right, now it's time to give him a mouth. And here's the thing that I learned my, about myself earlier is it is really hard for me to rotate objects once I've already cut them out. But before I cut them out, it's a lot easier because I can just rotate the entire original image. So that's the thing I learned about me. Maybe you have an easy time rotating stuff after you've already um, cut it out just by like, pinching and moving it, but I have a hard time with that. So I'm gonna just rotate it ahead of time. You'll notice it comes up with some guidelines for you to start centering things, which is pretty nice. I don't really need it because this isn't going to be a perfect image, but it is pretty cool. I'm going to make his mouth a little bit small just because it looks funny and I'm trying to have fun with this here. Let's give him some eyebrows. I'm going to use carrots. Um, I've been going back and forth if I want to do like evil eyebrows and turn them in. I did that on the first one. I kind of usually do that. Maybe I'll do like friendly eyebrows that kind of tilt off to the side this time. Like if you're one of my students, I'm, I'm really not that picky about what it looks like as long as you have shown me that you can select and move all the things. If you want to change their colors or their angles a little bit, I am totally cool with that. What you'll notice with the carrots though, they're a little bit of a pain sometimes. Um, you can see that some of the white background got selected. It interrupts that checkered pattern. So I'm going to go back and subtract that. Then I'm going to hit OK and move this carrot over. And what do you know? There's still some background selected. So I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to hold myself to a high standard here. I'm going to quickly redo that and not have that background showing. But now I know where it seems to come up, so I can fix it. So I'm even going to skip the end of those leaves, because I know it's going to try to select the background if I do that. But I am going to be a little more selective about that orange carrot area, because I think, I think it'll just look a little bit better, and I know that I'm better than that. Okay, I'm happier with this. Let's give him some eyebrows. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. Okay, let's... Add another layer and get that carrot and there we'll make his other carrot eyebrow so I'm going to rotate this ahead of time because again I have some struggles with rotating things um okay and we'll zoom in cut out let's get the carrot let's get the leaves and then we're gonna go back and make sure it's selected the way I wanted it to and it looks like it actually did this time I don't see anything sticking out from the carrot I'm gonna live dangerously here and pull out a little bit more of that green area and it looks like I kind of selected too much. I'll just take back a little bit of it, but that wasn't too bad. Um, okay. Good. Awesome. I don't want to be too long on this tutorial. I'm starting to realize this might be 
taking a while, so I'll tone it down a bit here. Okay, he's got some adorable carrot eyebrows, and now let's give him some banana ears. And I think I'll make those colorful just to kind of show you what you can do. Bananas are the easiest cutout ever. That was so fast. Okay, so I'm going to give him one ear. Maybe should I should make... I'll make him smaller. It's tiny. That's good. That's all right. Um, if you go to looks, you could just select a filter if you wanted to. Like, you could select California and make it this kind of bluish, odd color. Um, but you could also go to things like adjust. Um, and there's some other stuff that you could do. I mean, you could play with the saturation. If you make them too saturated, that's fine. You can make them, you know, black and white. If you change something like the temperature, that can also alter it just a little bit. So... Um, the blue would be interesting. Sure, I'll give him these little, like, blue tiny banana ears. That's kind of kind of cute, actually. Um, you can play around with other stuff, too, if you wanted to get rid of the layers, if that helps you to select stuff. I was hitting the, the thing with the two boxes at the top. Sometimes that's kind of helpful. Okay, so let's do that last ear image. We're going to select this banana. I'm going to cut it out. You're going to be a pro at cutting things out by now. I forgot to rotate ahead of time. I can still, like, I can still do it. It's just harder when I've already cut it out. So you can see I, I only struggled a little bit, but it's kind of tricky. All right, let's make that blue. Okay, we're good. Once you are happy with your image, you can just go to the top and hit the, the box with the arrow coming up off of it put it on your camera roll, and then I'm just going to double check and make sure it actually ended up there before I close the app. Yep, it did. It's in my recents. So I'm all good to go. So if you're my student, you'll upload it to Google Classroom. If you're not my student, um, cool, you made something awesome. Um, use your power for good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.